Hi everyone, welcome back to Style by Lauren Ryder. I'm Lauren. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, which means, of course, we're going thrifting. Let's check out what we can find. I started off in my favorite section, the accessories. I looked at some scarves, and of course I had to look at the hats. I really loved this red newsboy style cap. And then I was checking out the handbags too. I always love a little micro bag. This faux fur bag really stood out to me. If I wasn't looking for spring, I definitely would have picked that up. It was really cute. I saw this distressed blazer. I loved the distressed seams on it. I thought that was really fun. Um, I was looking at all of the blazers here. And then this cream colored one too. I really loved the collar with the fray detail on it. I was looking at coats. I loved that animal print one. There was a ton of faux furs. I really liked the seafoam green one too. This black and white striped top stood out to me. I loved the grommet detail on the neckline. I also really liked this cardigan animal print. I don't know if you can see the sequin and beadwork detail on it. Here's some more knitwear. I really liked this tweed style sweater. It had like some gold metallic threading on it, some sequins. This one too, I loved the button detail. Here I am about to try on all the pieces that I found. Um, these are the things that I'm going to be trying. Lots of sweaters. This is the first one. I really liked the stripe sweater with the leopard print sleeves on it. I had never seen anything like that before. This was a pink gingham button down that I liked, but it was a little too oversized. On my way out, I found this green sweater with the heart button detail. Oh, I also spotted this lace sequin dress. I love the pocket detail on it, but it wasn't my size, so I left that. Here are some more dresses. It was packed, lots to pick from today. I spotted this tweed coat. You know how I feel about tweed. It definitely was very Chanel-esque. Um, I loved the fraying on the sleeve. If I didn't have something like that, I definitely would have picked that up. And then of course, here's some more black and white. This is kind of a Western style blazer. Western is a huge trend for spring as well. These pants really stood out to me. I liked the two-tone um, and the pocket detail. I also spotted this cream colored poncho. I love the eyelet detail on the bottom. Um, unfortunately, there was a stain on it and like some holes at the top, so I left that, but I know that's definitely on trend right now. And then another black and white cardigan. This one was striped. That would be really cute. I decided to check out another thrift store. This one is the Savers that I've actually never been to before. First, I started in coats and I loved this nautical kind of overcoat with the navy blue and the white. And then this polka dot one, of course, stood out to me. There were lots of coats and blazers and a ton of knitwear at this location. I noticed a ton of pins behind the case. I'm really into pins right now and putting them on hats and on jackets. There were a ton of really cute ones like a little bow and like a little ice cream cone that was really fun. I really loved the ruffle detail on this blouse. There was a little stain on it um, so I left it but I loved that collar. I continued looking at some tops. Nothing too much stood out to me. I liked this eyelet one. I actually have something really similar already at home, so I left that. Of course, I had to check out the animal print. The scallop detail on this blazer was really interesting. Again, I loved how it was black and white, and it kind of had a polka dot detail too. This dress, I mean, look at the collar. 
with a little rosette detail. So fun. It wasn't my size though, so I left that. This was another amazing find. It's an Ungaro black and white dress that was kind of like a mod style. Look at those buttons, so cool. Here I am trying on a grommet blazer. This is a vintage pinstripe blazer. Look at the grommet detail with the little bows on the pockets. So fun. I wanted to include an outfit of the day today. So we just did a little bit of filming and I am still loving the whole sailor court trend. So I am wearing my Kenzo beret. I added a bunch of pins on it off to the side. And then I'm wearing a leopard print scarf that I kind of just tied in a bow off to the side. And then this is a leopard print silk button down that I thrifted. I'm wearing my little sailor collar that is detachable that I can put on everything. Um, and then this long pearl necklace, let me pan down here. Um, this necklace I thrifted from Savers in my last thrift trip. I paired the look just with my oversized jeans that I thrifted, just some chunky shoes that are really comfortable. Um, and that is my look for the day. I love button downs. Um, if you watched my last uh, video on outfit formulas, you'll see that it's just, they're so easy for me to pair back to denim or whatever, but it's just really easy to get dressed. And then obviously you can style them however you want. So I added some accessories like my necklace and my collar. And then that is my look for today. So I am back from my thrift trip. I went to a few different stores um, and I didn't get a ton, but I wanted to do a little haul with you for some of the things that I purchased. And the first thing that I found was this cardigan. Um, you saw me find it at Savers. I am loving the stripe with the leopard sleeve. I think that's so fun. I'm not like super loving the back detail of it with like the scene, but um, you know, you'll see it mostly from the front anyways like this. And I love how lightweight it is. It's by the brand OE. And it is super lightweight and soft, so I think it's gonna be really comfortable. I'm looking forward to wearing that one. Um, and then another piece that you guys saw me score at Savers is this nautical Ralph Lauren sweatshirt um, kind of top here. It's super worn in. I love the little anchor emblem detail there at the pocket. And then of course it has the sailor collar in the back. That's what really sold me. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm wearing my sailor collar today. I am obsessed with nautical or anything nautical inspired. Um, I've liked that ever since last year. I have no idea why, but this I think paired with like my white linen shorts and maybe even like a sailor hat and really lean into that whole nautical look I think would be so cute for spring. I think that sailor core look is going to be really big again um, this year. And then a couple other pieces I got. So this fur hat, I am loving a upturned brim on a hat right now for some reason and this little black fur one I thought was so fun it was brand new with tags at savers and I just think this it's not super spring but um, I think if I styled it in a way with like some shorts or something like floral print I think it'll definitely be really cute and then another hat actually that I got this one is also from savers as well it's just a kind of berry colored corduroy baseball cap. I am loving baseball caps right now. Um, I actually really like pairing a baseball cap with something really unexpected, like a really dressy sequin blazer or even with a dress or something like that. Um, and this one is a Coke one, but I loved the little pastel colors on it. I thought that was very spring. So this I think would be really cute, even with something like, um, my sequin button down. I love these colors together. This was like a pair of cut off shorts. So cute. And then um, the final piece that I scored. Um, so this was from a savers that I had never been to before, but um, I am so glad I went because I found this vintage jacket. You guys saw me try it on. I am loving grommets right now. I think ever since I saw the Gucci runway show with a leather beret that had grommets all on it, I have been obsessed with grommets. Um, so this is a pinstriped blazer. And I don't know if you can see the detail, but it, it's laced all 
all the way up and then it has the little bow details on the pockets. This is so cute and I think it's such a statement jacket that it really makes the outfit for you. Like just pair it with a basic t-shirt underneath and then, um, you know, just accessorize it and I think that would be so much fun. So this is definitely a piece that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. Um, when I go thrifting, I am looking for pieces that are really super special that are statement pieces that you can't find anywhere else. I'm looking for vintage pieces. I'm looking for pieces that, you know, aren't your basic everyday run of the mill pieces that you can find anywhere. Um, so that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for when I'm checking my local thrift stores. Hopefully this video inspired you to check out some of the trends for spring at your thrift store. We saw so many. I mean, I saw a ton of animal print, a ton of black and white, we found, um, you know, denim on denim. It was so easy to find at the thrift store. You can find tons of chambray tops and, of course, lots of jeans, um, you know, lots of polka dots. So it's really easy to find. You just kind of have to keep an eye out for your whatever the trends you're looking for. Um, but hopefully I inspired you to shop your local thrift store and see what you can find and hopefully get you more excited for the spring and putting together spring outfits. I think the fun of getting dressed is taking these pieces that you find at thrift stores and mixing in, you know, your designer pieces that are currently wardrobe or the pieces that you've had for years or, you know, mixing in matching and creating outfits and making the spring trends your own. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I make fashion videos here every week and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.